This is not your typical takeout egg drop soup. It's so much better with just a few extra ingredients. You'll never order it out again. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, Duties Behind the Camera, and we're all about simple food, simple faith. You know, I've come a long ways since I started making egg drop soup back in my college days when I just really opened a can of cream of corn and swirled an egg in it. And now I have made so many different versions of this, I just, I don't even know what I was thinking back then. One of my most popular videos out there is egg drop soup with chicken and corn, but we're going to make a completely different variation of egg drop soup today that includes pork and shrimp. Starting with our aromatics today, we are using about a thumb size piece of ginger. It's about half an ounce. I'm just going to smash it. We just want the flavors. Set that aside. And then we're going to add two cloves of garlic. Now these are fairly big cloves of garlic, so you might want to increase or decrease depending on what you have. I just smash them to get the skin off more easily. Of course, whenever we're filming, it never cooperates with me. I'm just gonna mince up the garlic. All right, that's good enough. The cooking of this soup is really quick and easy, but to get things started, I'm going to turn my heat on to a medium high. Adding a tablespoon of cooking oil. I'm using avocado oil today. You can use another neutral tasting oil. I want to brown the pork. I'm not supposed to heat up my Dutch oven without adding some liquid at the bottom. So I'm just gonna let that heat up a little bit. I'm using eight ounces of lean ground pork today. That's about half a pound. Just gonna let it sear before moving it around too much. Of course, I forgot to add my ginger first, so I'm just gonna toss that in now. You want to cook the pork all the way through. And it doesn't matter that some of it is sticking because once we add the liquid, we can get all of those little bits off the bottom. And once the pork is cooked through, no longer pink, we're going to just move it to the side. Get the liquid into the middle. I'm going to add our garlic. And cook that for about 30 seconds, just until you start to smell it. We don't want it to burn at the bottom. And then you can mix your pork back in. Now we're adding four cups of chicken stock. You can use it from a carton or if you have freshly made stock, that would be yummy. Totally up to you. If you don't have chicken stock, you can also use, say, pork broth or uh, vegetable broth. I want to scrape the bottom just to make sure that all those little bits have been lifted. And we're going to let this come to a boil. For my veggie today, I am using a large stock of gailan that I'm just going to chop up. And if you don't have gailan, you can use broccoli or um, peas, snow peas would be yummy as well. I'm gonna cut them small enough so that they cook quickly. The bits cook quickly in the soup. I'm gonna separate the leafy part from the stalk because that will cook even quicker than this part. We're gonna go back to our soup now that it's boiling. We're gonna turn that down to a simmer. Okay. We're adding one tablespoon of soy sauce. And one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Okay. 
and give that a stir. And we're going to let this simmer for about five minutes. Okay, we're also chopping up our onions. So again, I'm planting these in my garden because we can grow more green onions from the bottoms. And, but sometimes I end up having to buy more because we use a lot and they don't grow fast enough. Okay, I'm just going to move these over. We're going to add these probably at the same time as the leafy part of the gailan. For those of you not familiar with gailan, it's kind of like a Chinese version of broccoli. We're also going to beat two eggs. Just lightly beat. All right, so it's been about five minutes. I'm going to take out the ginger. Luckily, they're all floating on top, so that's good. Okay, I'm also using about six ounces of shrimp. They're quite small, so I'm just going to use them this size. I'm not cutting them down. If they were bigger, I would probably cut them down. They've already been deshelled, deveined. I didn't dry them really well, so I'm just trying to avoid adding the liquid. And I'm also adding the bottom parts of the gailan. It'll only take about a minute till the shrimp cooks through. To thicken up the soup, we're going to make a cornstarch slurry. So about two tablespoons of cornstarch, adding about two tablespoons of water. It has to be room temperature water, otherwise it won't dissolve. Room temperature or cold water, never use hot water. The shrimp is cooked through. We're going to add our cornstarch. We just want to thicken the soup a little bit. If you want it thicker, you can add more cornstarch slurry, but we're also going to add the egg to make the egg ribbon. So it will be thicker when the egg is added as well. Once it starts to simmer again, we're going to slowly add our egg. Then we're going to add the rest of our gailan and the green onions at the same time. We're going to turn off the heat. We're just going to let the veggies wilt. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. I'm sure it's going to taste awesome. Adding about a half teaspoon, well, quarter teaspoon maybe, of uh, ground white pepper. White pepper is a little bit different from black pepper in that it gives a low warming type of heat. I'm also adding about a teaspoon of sesame oil. And that is it. All right, we're going to give this a stir. And spoon some up for the taste. Dude is always asking for more heat, so I got this new chili sauce. It's supposed to be quite popular, and it was on sale. And there are actually crispy bits in here, so I'm just gonna give you, I don't know, like that much? Tiny, yep. Is that tiny, or yes. is that too much? Good. So instead of the sesame oil, you can always just add chili oil to the soup, but you know, we're kind of wimpy that way. Are you all ready for? The taste. Guys, this is a very straightforward, hearty Chinese soup. Uh, this is not a soup that you get in any restaurant or takeout. It's got a lot of ingredients in there and you can customize it however you want. But in this permutation, it eats like a meal. All right. Uh, the fragrance of the sesame oil, very nice. And the chili oil is untested. So guys, this could be 
good or adventurous? Hot. Good taste all around. Mouthfeel, springiness of the shrimp, hearty with the meat, and nice texture with the veg too. And the chili oil is sufficiently, not overly spicy. So altogether, great mouthfeel and a wonderful taste. Mm. Great for the incoming cooler weather. Awesome, thanks dude. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna find this egg drop soup in any restaurant. For the recipe, check it out on flowbum.com.